Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we have a truly exciting class, Leo. Leo is one of the very exciting uh, signs in the zodiac. They're all extremely exciting, but Leo is externally and obviously exciting. Leo is the great illuminator. It's ruled by the sun, the great illuminating body. And illumination stands for education, for bringing the light, for bringing knowledge, for bringing creativity. Those are uh, the symbolic representations of illumination, illuminating body. With the Leo personality, we have the individualization of the consciousness. So the consciousness becomes to see itself as separate. And don't worry, I know yogis are all about oneness, but as we go through the entire chart and when we reach Aquarius, that individualization will come full circle and become one of the whole. But you do need to realize yourself as separate. First is as a unit, individual consciousness, in order to see yourself as one of the whole. So the whole path is really needed in order for um, the enlightenment of the soul. And astrology is a metaphor, is a study of the path of the soul, the evolution of the soul. So coming out of cancer where the consciousness is collective, more consciousness is a part of a group, in Leo we become individualized. And when I say we, I'm, I literally mean all of us because that is the journey of the soul through the signs as symbolized by astrology and the archetypes there. But it is also, all of us have all signs within our chart. So we all have all aspects of um, creation within ourselves. And with Leo, once you realize that you're in a, a creative spark coming from the creator, you're a creator uh, in your own right, that is the beauty of Leo because we become creative, artistic, expressive, and teachers, uh, bringers of the light. Uh, truly, Leo resides in the heart. So even where uh, Leo is um, located in the body is the heart which is truly what love is, the representation of love in the human body. So Leo is the great light and the great love. And we see that light and love in each and every uh, sign, just in a different, um, in a different evolution, with uh, Aries being the original or the separation or the first sign that comes out of that original love and light or consciousness. And then coming through Taurus, where we see that love and light being part of the whole um, that world of form with Gemini love being the interconnectedness the relation between every other sign or everything else that is in existence it's the connector Gemini is the connector the relationship and with cancer it's profound cancer is profound it love being the foundation it is uh, it's the fabric is light of the house so love is the foundation of the house. Now in Leo, we individualize the consciousness where in Gemini consciousness becomes aware of itself. Then in Cancer consciousness becomes a part of the group. And now we separate from the group and become an individual consciousness that wants to express itself in a divine way as the creator is um, the symbolism of the creation of the universe. We, in Leo, we see that we become to express that energy, that consciousness of creativity, uh, of creating, of tapping into that creativity, of that energy. So with Leo, we're going to think light, illumination, heart, courage, bravery, connecting to that light, being that light, and as Leo um, has uh, the soul, and the personality both being uh, ruled by the sun, which only happens in Leo and Capricorn. Both of them have the same ruler. All the other signs have an exoteric and an esoteric ruler. So a hidden ruler and an obvious external ruler, a soul ruler and a personality ruler, where the personality is the mundane issues and the soul is the purpose and the soul path issues the soul evolution issues. Here in Leo, we have the same ruler. It is the great sun. And in that, in that regard, we all need to, at one point in our life, tap into the Leo within, which is also the inner child, the childlike, the joy, the giving, 
the generosity and also the courage and the heart-centeredness. So Leo is a beautiful sign. If you have a Leo Sun, a Leo Moon, Leo Ascendant especially, any planets in Leo, even look at your fifth house, look at your north node, look at your transits, look at your progressed <laughs> chart, not to get too complicated here, but most Cancers would spend most of their life in uh, progressed Leo Sun. So um, just uh, look into your chart and see where Leo is uh, false for you and tap into that. It's a beautiful energy to contemplate on the evolutionary uh, path of the soul. And as we individualize ourselves and look into being creative and being a one, we will come full circle and we'll merge with the whole, but keep that consciousness of individuality or understanding that we're one with all instead of just all. All right, this was long, but I hope you learned a little bit about Leo and are you ready to flow with strength and ease? Starting at the front of the mat or walking towards the front and as you reach the front I want you to begin to walk towards the back and you can draw circles or semi-circles with your toes and again circles you can bring the arms in starting to bring the breath in step towards the front and you're gonna bring your right leg forward and draw a big circle with the left and glide it all the way behind reaching over with the left arm here stretching and feeling it beautiful coming out of this stepping onto the left leg take the right in front of you draw a big circle all the way back and across and reach with the right arm Great, and let's do it again, huh? Take the left circle, cross, left arm up, reaching over towards the left leg. And opposite side, feel it. We're just warming up and coming back to the center. We're going to open the arms out and draw a few circles backwards with the fingertips. And a few forward with the fingertips, breathe. Change direction one more time. Beginning as, as you breathe, you feel your abdominal wall connecting and also your pelvic floor, Mulabanda connecting. Inhale the hands over the head, exhale them over the heart. Big breath through the heart. It's the ruling organ for Leo. And let's inhale again, exhale over the heart. One more time. Inhale through the heart. As a beam of light coming in. We're gonna begin to flow. Inhale, exhale, folding. Shake your head. Hands right above the knees, and we're going to go for a stomach vacuum so we can get that energy flowing there. more today I'm on empty stomach sometimes I have too many teas in my tummy
great and exhale forward fold we're going to bring the left hand on the ground left knee bending right arm up reaching and creating length between the fingertips with the hands length under the crown of the head so there is a lot of length the spine the neck opposite side Exhale down, hands on the ground, step it back, plank. Pull the belly in, really feel it. So here we're gonna do a little dancey combo, it's really not a dance, so don't get scared. But it is feet stepping just a little wider than hip width apart for uh, balance. Tap onto your shoulder and then come onto the side, into side plank, right arm up and then back into one armed plank tap back step it down place the hand down opposite side side plank reach you can reach over the head as well you can arch feel free to feel your body one arm plank tap lower it and opposite side right tap side plank tap down left up side plank tap down tap reach 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 up, down, plank, chaturanga, up dog, and down dog, and breathe. Lifting the tailbone high, feel it. Let's inhale the right leg up and open the knee. Exhale it behind, wild thing, lift. Let's exhale both hands down, bring the right knee into a knee tuck, bring it across and take a wild thing here. And let's repeat it. One legged down dog, wild thing. Plank, knee tuck, cross the foot, wow thing. One last lift, wow thing, knee tuck, wow thing, and plank. Step the right foot through and come up high lunge. Hands in prayer, warrior team. Begin to come up to standing on one leg, on the right leg, and glide your left leg behind. Reach over with both hands here in this cross back lunge. Look up. Warrior three. Step it back. High lunge. Prayer twist. Plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. I have a little this is rare. Roll. <coughs> oh. Plank. I have a little roly poly crossing 
sure they don't get inside the house often, but <laughs> this one did. <laughs> All right, one, one leg down dog, take the left leg up. Wild thing. Knee tuck, cross wild thing. Here in the second wild thing, I keep my knees bent, but it's optional, feel it in your body. Go back, lift the left leg, step it behind, wild thing. Knee tuck, cross, wild thing. Last one. Well, thing, knee tuck, cross it. Well, thing, into one legged plank, step it through, high lunge. Warrior thing. Beginning to come up to standing and glide the foot behind you. Reach over, cross lunge with the reach, you can look up. Back to warrior three. And step it back, high lunge. Prayer twist. ground, plank, here we're going to reach in front of us with the right hand, then tap, then side plank, then reach, then tap, then down, reach, left hand, tap, left hand, side plank, plank, reach, tap, down, tap, reach, <laughs> reach, tap, side plank, reach, tap, reach, side plank, tap, reach, or reach, tap, and one more, starting, reach, tap, side plank, tap, reach, plank, reach, tap, side plank, plank all right and from here we're going to go into chaturanga up dog chaturanga down dog breathe walk the hands back to the feet exhale forward fold Straight back, inhale, come up to standing, reach over the head and exhale over the heart. Inhale and lower halfway down in an L stance. Here we're gonna flare the arms out as if we're flying. And from here we're going to Round the back and then open it and round it and open it and round it and open it with the arms also moving in a creative way, whatever feels right for you. Feel the back in every back muscle here being involved, stretching, strengthening. Great. Inhale and open. Open the arms forward so the chest is opening. Lifting to the crown of the head. Inhale over the head. Exhale down and walk to the front and down dog.
inhale the right leg up. Step it through. Warrior one. Here we're going to glide the left knee behind and on the outside of the right ankle, twist, look behind, bring your hands over to, to your left, step onto the ball of the feet, balls of the feet and roll around to the other side and twist here, so right hand to left knee. Bring the hands to the right, roll around and step it back in high lunge. Twist. And release down, plank, chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga, down dog. Let's inhale the left leg up, step it through. Warrior one. Here we're going to bring the right knee behind and on the outside of the left ankle and sit down and twist. Looking over the left shoulder. And stepping back into high lunge. Twist. This time come up and take a wide stand here. We're going to bring the hands over on the hips and lower down forward fold feet parallel to each other. Bending the right knee, reach forward, side lunge. Bending the left knee, reach forward, side lunge. Bring your hands on the ground, in the center, and we're going to take the right foot up and just cross it over to the other side. And then cross it over to the other side. A few more of those. Great, now when we step to the right side, our right side, we're gonna take a squat. And then we're gonna step to the left, and take a squat and right squat and left squat and right squat and left squat and right squat and last one left squat and come to the front inhale the hands over the head Exhale them over the heart. Inhale, reach over the head and exhale, dive. Forward fold. Plank. Step the right foot on the outside of the mat, foot pointing out. And we're going to take the right arm up and open here. You can open up, forward, and lower down. Opposite side, open, reach, lower down. 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 Lower down, open, reach, lower down. This time you're gonna step the right foot through and thread the left foot through 
and step it back. Do the same on the other side and step it back. Right, left, right, left, and plank, chaturanga, up dog, child's pose. You can bring your hands and fists and tap right on the around where your waistline is, right above it, the kidney area, just very gentle, <laughs> not hitting yourself but gently tapping. It's almost like knock knock kidneys, stimulating you. That's meant to be a stimulating action, not jarring. And you can tap down around the tailbone too just to bring a little bit of self-care to all the muscles, nerves and tissue that is in, connective tissue that is in that area of the spine. Tap, tap, tap around the tailbone and tap, tap, tap over the kidneys. Tailbone, mouth tapping. Remember that. And kidneys. Beautiful. Inhale the hands over the head and we're going to bring the hands over to the right. Lower the forehead down and surrender to that stretch that is all along the left side of your body. Opposite side, lower down. Here we're going to lower the knees over the mat, bending at the elbows, bending at the knees. It's kind of animal-like, cat-like. We're going to bring one elbow to knee, so same side, right side to right knee, and then opposite, and really feel the core awakening here. Kind of give it a little bit of a cat-like slowness. Elaborate style movement. Elaborate in the sense that you really feel your claws, your hands really clawing the mat, really feeling the core as you lift to one side and then to the other. Squeezing the core. All right, now we'll progress it. Here we're going to walk the feet even closer and Bring the left knee across and tap it into the elbow and twist, pendulum the knees over to the other side, bring the right foot across, tap it, left, tap it, right, tap it. This should be really something you feel in your core and obliques. Down dog. Take the right leg up. Step the right foot at the front. Come up, high lunge. You should really feel the awakening of your midsection here. Let's press the palms together, open, lifting through the heart.
and here we're going to bring in a four letter squat we're gonna bring the knee slightly out and we're gonna sit back and you can bring your hands behind you and roll back and roll back up and come back up and step it back high lunge arch exhale plank chaturanga up dog down dog let's take the left leg up step it through high lunge pressing the palms together open four figure squat so lower the right knee out you can just stay here or you can sit back roll back and come back up step it back open exhale plank Chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, and here you're going to heel to heel alignment. Or so, it doesn't have to be exact. Try to square your hips, straighten the legs, straighten the back, lower down. Intense side stretch. Now, we're going to step the left foot in slightly, lift the front foot, bend the back knee, square the hips, and reach down with your hands. Just really access the hamstring. All right, from here, stagger the, stagger the legs. So this is staggered squat. Press the right hip back, left hip forward, straight back. We're gonna start, start hop up or start reach up. Either one works just fine. As long as you feel the move and you put consciousness into the move, you feel the muscles, you're present in your body. So stagger, reach up, stagger, start jump up now when you lower down try to square the hips try to level them as well push the right hip back left hip forward and up reach down with a straight back and then come up three four five six seven like the sun eight nine drawing the sun ten plank Chaturanga, up dog, second Chaturanga, down dog. Breathe. Take the left leg up, step it through. Straighten the legs, level the hips, square the hips, straighten the back, intense side stretch. So heel to heel alignment or so. Here this is not as important. You can step the feet apart a little, even hip width apart if needed. We're going to bend the right knee Lift the left foot, toes pushing towards you. Stretch here, really feel it. It also involves the calf, the tendons, the Achilles. Good. 
Great, step it back, stagger, straight back. And here either come up or hop up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plank. Step the right foot. Again, the foot is slightly pointing out on the outside of the right hand and straight back. We're gonna come up and step across in the cross lunges in the beginning. Reach over, lower down, step it back, opposite side, left foot. Right foot just circles back and behind, reaching here, lower down. Try to draw some form of circle. So here, the leg is circling, the back leg, the arms can circle, the arms can lower, and closing the circle. Opposite side, the leg circles, the arm circle, and lower down. A few more of those. Focus on feeling the body through the moves. And plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through high lunge. Come to standing onto the right leg, wrap the left leg around it, sit back, left arm forward, right up, cross them, lift, soften the back of the shoulders. Bring them over to your right. And up and over to the left. Focus on the balancing act here. Balancing means steady mind and keep that wrap come up and wrap your legs your arms are wrapped warrior thing step it back lift with that wrap and you can even finish here with a little bit of a twist kind of like prayer twist but wrap twist and shake it out Open the chest, shake the back, <laughs> and plank, and chaturanga, and up dog, and down dog. And take the left leg up, and step it to high lunge. Step at the front, wrap the right leg around this time. Right arm forward, left up, cross, lift. Let's bring them over to the left. If you can lift your head too. And come up to the right. Now here the gaze is everything. That's where you find that your balance is challenged. Come up, keep your arms wrapped, legs unwrapped. Warrior three. Step it back, lift, twist, twist lunge. Come out and shake it out like a like an exuberant belly dancer. <laughs> I'm shaking my mic mostly. Woo! Yes, exhale down. If I think about it, belly dancers would be. Most old dancers would be rolled by Leo, really. But some are more moody. Belly dancers are very exuberant. All right, Chaturanga. Up dog. Yeah, why not? Child pose.
and let's bring the right foot forward in a pigeon. Open, and lower down. And just breathe. Always remind yourself of the simple truth that the breath connects the divine, the soul, to the human, the body. They're both the same really, so separation doesn't really exist, but in the terms of duality, uh, we are experiencing separation even though one. Oneness is the underlying truth of reality. So that's even duality in that, but always remind yourself about the simple that the breath can transform your thoughts, your state of mind, your state of health. You can literally, a lot of people have asked me how to heal, uh, if they can do yoga, uh, and it's always, there's always ways, one is the breath, always the breath. Yeah, there is the conscious mind, and again, the, the two are affecting each other, and one is uh, just a dancer grooving move. I think I've shared this once in a class, but I'll share it again because it was profound. I was going through my own healing experience uh, because of mold exposure. That was maybe at this point it was 10 to 12 years ago. Um, I forget. But the date is not important at the time. And I remember that I was, I was listening to an interview on PBS, I think, where um, um, on some radio station, sorry, I forget the radio stations in LA, but it was um, a woman describing healing, even though I have gaps in my story, I remember the main part of the story. <laughs> a woman was um, talking about healing and how people that start to, if they can't move, can't do yoga, can't go for walks, if they can dance with one finger, that is the beginning of that wave of movement, that healing wave of movement. Just beautiful healing music and feeling the dance within your own body. So that was very, it really sat deep into my um, psyche, uh, her story. And that's the main point of my story that is missing a few elements like the radio station or the when exactly it happened. Alright, coming up. Open. And you can draw a few circles. Take the left leg forward, aligning in pigeon and lower down. Circles. 
bring the knees down and sit between your heels and you can lower down here. Now with Leo being the great illuminator, the great light, symbolically, the sun being that illuminator, that light, even the light of an, of an educator, someone that's an educator, someone that brings either knowledge, the knowing of love, sharing. We always have to remember that shadow only appears where there is sun, when there is light. There's no shadows without light. So when we consider the duality of darkness and light in the world, we have to understand that they both are needed for our evolution and awakening because if we were never um, challenged in any way as souls on our journey, we would never have a reason to evolve. So we should not look at the darkness or the so-called evil as pure in itself evil, but there is a, a dynamic um, movement to it. It is here to also serve the same evolutionary path. So it is not, as I've heard it uh, being said in spiritual um, mystical lectures, there used to be ancient evil, which was that. It was, it was not moving, not evolving. There was no change there, no transformation. It was that, a pure profound darkness. But it was replaced by the so-called evil. And that is where basically we were able to transform things. So in that regard, we should be grateful for everything that we're challenged to it, for, uh, for even, um, the dark forces that we feel in the world because through that we're going to evolve just a, just a thought that i've been um, having on the light and the dark and the light in general sun and coming up we're going to Sit on the body, spread the legs open, fold forward. And let's reach over to one side and then to the other. One more time. Reach. Face the right leg and lower. Face the left and lower and step onto the feet, bending at the knees, straighten the back, pull the belly in, reach forward and really feel. You can lift Mula Bandha as well and really reach here. Now you can stay steady or you can bring right hand to left foot, change change, change, change. As if you're driving the movement through the core. So keep the back straight, you can continuously readjust, open the chest and really drive it as if it's coming or it should be. But in your mind, connect it to the core so that you can communicate that to your body. We're just one more set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and lower down onto your back. the legs and over into plow
and shoulder stand. And lower down, right knee in, supine twist. Come back up for bridge or wheel. Preparing to again open the heart, leave the courage, the heart centeredness. And in Leo is where we learn courage. And there is nothing to be feared but fear itself. Everything resolve itself. We're an eternal path as a soul. The soul is sovereign, eternal illuminated and free and we learn courage and we learn that there is absolutely nothing to be feared but fear <laughs> itself so we'll open Bring the right knee in, left knee behind it. Reach down, grab the feet. Flex the feet, bring them in. Breathing into the heart, feeling the texture, the energy, the frequency of love as you breathe and as you invite that into your body, into your consciousness, into your present. Change. Extend the legs and bring the hands right underneath the booty, outer thighs. And bring the crown of the head on the floor, propping yourself up onto the elbow. down you can lay down allowing the body to surrender to soften into the floor as you breathe Filling the heart with light. Slowly beginning to, be, to see. To create the vision of a ball of light, of golden light, hovering over the heart. Fiery golden light. A sphere warming up your entire body with its light exuding light into your world and as you breathe feel that spiritual light that's coming spiritual warmth that's coming into your body, that's warming up your skin and your entire body. The way infrared light works, warming you up from the inside out.
warming up your soul, your heart. And with the next breath, softly bring that light into your body, into your heart. It becomes a part of you. You become the light. Exuding light and warmth into the world. being that illumination that love warming up yourself with that love because in Leo love for the self is where we learn that quality to love ourselves in a childlike joyous way fun in a fun way. Learning that we are a particle of the divine, worthy, deserving of that love. So we learn to adore and love ourselves. That is an important part of our path evolutionary soul path. We have to integrate that self-love in order to be able to become that beautiful one that becomes one with all. Inhale into your heart and feel that light exuding from you, warming you up and the world up, bringing light and love into your world and into the world. And let's inhale the hands over the head, point the toes. Bring the hands over the heart. Bend your knees and step your feet down for just a few pelvic tilts, you can bring your hands down onto the floor and just bring a few pelvic tilts into your body. Very gentle. A semi-stomach vacuum can be included, mulabanda. Let's reach with the hands up. up towards the ceiling, a few more pelvic tilts. Great, reach over the head, a few inches off the floor with your arms, a few more pelvic tilts, pressing the lower back into the floor. Great, roll onto your side, come up to sit it. Inhale the hands over the head over the third eye, over the heart. Take a big breath through the heart, reminding yourself the simple truth that you are love, you exude love. You contain love, you bring love in, you are love in all its expressions. And we can transform absolutely everything through love, through the simple realization of the fact that we are love. 
So let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness, compassion, generosity, and love. Namaste. And I'll see you with the root yoga classes, the phenomenal world is coming next classes and with the rest of the astrology classes. Remember to flow with strength and ease.